All right, we're here today going to show an install video on injector install on the 9802 Dodge. We got our expert mechanic Stephen Willoughby here with us. Uh, first steps are going to be uh, to take the intake horn off. You got 10 millimeter bolts on top of that. Uh, you got actually four that hold the intake horn on, and then you've got one that holds the dipstick tube. Just take those out. Uh, then you've got an 11 millimeter that holds the uh, the bellow there to the intake horn. Uh, just pull that off, set it to the side. Uh, next thing we do is right here in front, we've got three uh, 15 millimeter bolts uh, that takes the throttle positioning sensor out. Then you've got your 15 millimeter bolts that take hold the valve cover on. Those are your three first steps in. Uh, starting this process. Alright, on this install we've already removed the intake horn, we've already removed the throttle position sensor, removed the first four bolts on the valve cover. The fifth bolt is loose but we leave it in before we take the valve cover off. Uh, Steven's going to go ahead and show you. Back in the back right here you'll see the, the rubber line. We, we bend that down and slide the intake up uh, over top of that. Uh, is is the easiest way to do it, leaving that fifth bolt in. It's not the easiest thing in the world. It, it's kind of a little hassle getting that thing off. But and there you have it. So now we're down to our valves and our injectors, and we'll continue with steps from there. All right, the next step in the process is getting the injector lines off. You've got three hold-down bolts that are 10 millimeters. The hold-down bolts are there, there, and back in the back. Here. Uh, you Actually, four. Yeah. Four hold-down bolts. Three-quarter inch wrench takes the injector lines loose from the head, uh, and then three-quarter inch stubby takes the lines loose from the back of the injection pumps the easiest way to do it uh, take all those loose we take the one two and four off leave it in a group do not separate it. it makes it a whole lot easier going back if you take them all off together then the second three will come off three five and six will come off in a group and leave those together also uh, the, these curved lines, it's a whole lot easier if you just leave them together. After you get your fuel lines off, the next step in the process is taking the injector hold down off. The injector hold down is right here. There's actually two 8 millimeter uh, bolts. The one in the back closest to the uh, rocker arms, uh, we just loosen that up. The hold down is actually slotted, so if you loosen that one up and, and take the back bolt completely out, the rocker arm will actually just slide out. I'll show you a picture of the rocker arm as soon as Steven gets it out there. See how it does have a slot in it where his thumb is? Move your thumb there, Steven. Slot there. That's where the one eight millimeter slides in. You can take them out that way if you don't want to adjust your valves. Normally speaking, when we do injector installs, we always take the exhaust valve, uh, exhaust rocker arm off. That lets you get down in there real easy. The exhaust rocker arm is always this second rocker arm right here on each one going back. Makes it real easy getting to the, uh, to the hold down bolts at that point. Uh, so we'll take those off. We're actually going to take all the rocker arms uh, loose so we can readjust the valves and do a compression check on this motor also. Two other quick notes that I didn't mention that we always do. We always stuff rags down in the intake. Always put a rag over top of the uh, intercooler hose. And if, if you take the rocker arms off like we're going to, always keep those in order and put them back on the exact same cylinder that you took it off in. Everything, especially on a motor that's already been broke in, everything's made it up. So we want to put those back on exactly like we take Here them Here we off. got Steven taking the exhaust rocker arms off. That's actually a 10 millimeter uh, nut that's on the top of it. Real simple to do. All you do is just take the nut loose and then the rocker arm will simply pull straight up off of it. All right, we've gotten all the rocker ar exhaust rocker arms taken off. Uh, we've also got the hold down, injector hold down taken off on each injector. Uh, we're getting ready to pull the injector out. Two things you've got to do. You've got to pull this connector tube that slides right there out. How we do that is if you don't have the special tool or can't get your hands on it, you can take a screwdriver. You just got to be real careful not to screw the threads up. We use a snap-on part uh, CJ144. 
It's a little tool like that. Steven will show you how it screws on there. Uh, and then you just simply take a little lady finger or something and they'll, the tubes will pop right out. We go ahead and take the tubes all the way out, clean them off, make sure the ends look good uh, before we go back. Uh, when you go to take the injector out, you uh, can actually, what we use is a valve cover bolt. We'll actually screw right into the top of that injector. And then we take a pair of bent needle nose pliers and and just pop the injector straight up out. And Steven's going to show you how to do that. See the, You can see the valve cover bolt sticking up out there. Just pry up on it and the injector will pop right out. Pull the injector up there, Steven. Make sure that it has the... Yeah, you want to always make sure it has the copper O-ring on the bottom of them. You do not want to put two copper O-rings on there. When we show you the new injectors, uh, it'll all, they always come with a new copper O-ring also. All right, I thought I'd give you a quick shot of the injectors that we're getting ready to put back in. These are actually just stock Bosch injectors. You see the nice, pretty Bosch yellow box. Uh, you want to make sure it's got the brand new copper o-ring on the bottom of it. You can see brand new nozzles. This is actually a complete brand new injector, not rebuilt or anything. Uh, we'll start installing these injectors. All right, Steven's got the injector and the tube. Uh, when you go back with these, you want to uh, put a little bit of lubricant around your o-ring, something like Vaseline is what we usually use. Uh, we also want to put the injector back down in the hole with the indented portion. Uh, right there, that's the portion where your uh, tube, your fuel tube slides into. Uh, you'll put that down pointing over towards where the fuel tube slides in. Before you tighten anything down, you have to make sure that fuel tube sitting tight in, in that port before you start cramping those down. Uh, we'll do that and then I'll give you the torque specs on what to torque all this all right, stuff. Alright, he's put the injector back down in the hole, he's pushing the tube in right now. Usually you'll kind of feel it kind of snap back into place where the O-ring's on there. Uh, and it should be just about flush with the outside of the head right there. Uh, once you've got that in place, then we're going to put the rocker arm back on and, and torque everything. All right, Steven's put the injector down in the hole, making sure that the tube lines up. Uh, how we normally install the injectors is we, we first torque them down to about 44 uh, inch pounds just to let the injector seat into the hole properly. Uh, we then back that back off, make sure the feed tube slides in. Uh, you want to feel a, uh, a snap or a pop when the feed tube actually slides into the groove and seats itself. Uh, and it should be about flush with the outside, maybe indented just a little bit with the outside of the head there. Uh, that'll let you know that that is seated. Uh, properly. Uh, then we're going to put the rocker arms back on. The hold down bolts on the injectors torque at 89 inch pounds. The hold down or rocker bolt here uh, actually torques at 27 foot pounds. Now that we got our injectors in, we're pretty much done. We've got our injectors in, our valves lashed, everything accomplished here. Uh, all you have to do now is just do the actually the opposite of the install, the, the removal procedures. Uh, you can go ahead and put your valve cover on, put your injector lines back on, hook everything up, and then we're going to get to the uh, uh, restart or bleeding procedures to get the fuel back up into the injectors. Uh, all we do is crack the number one, number three, and number four cylinders, uh, crank it over until we get fuel coming out of any of those. Once we see fuel coming out of those, we close that cylinder off. We crank it again until we get fuel coming out of each of the other two cylinders that's left. Closing those off as soon as we see fuel. Uh, usually by the time you get fuel coming, barely starting to come out of the third cylinder, uh, it'll, it'll be ready to start. Uh, so go ahead and close it off when you see any fuel at all and, and she'll fire right up for you.